Hey everyone, so I just pulled up the Blood Baron, and I'm going to quickly play the motion graphic for you one more time so you can get it fresh in your mind. So I counted before I did this tutorial, and there's about five or six different instances where we use trap code, or sorry, Red Giant's 3D stroke. Um, pretty much everything besides the organic flowing lines, the bowl, which was actually animated by hand took a long time. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> and um, the smoke coming out of the nose, which was trap good particular. Uh, besides that, everything else in this motion graphic is uh, 3D stroke. So pretty much the client sent me a picture of this uh, shield with the bull in it and their logo. And they say, hey, we want, we want a cool motion graphic. So I took the picture and I used it as a template to outline the shield. And the shield's a really good example of using uh, Trapco 3D Stroke because there is three-dimensional rotation and uh, lots of repetition. So it kind of comes in, uh, comes into the frame. Let me see here. Let me go back a bit. So you can see the the shield kind of comes in and it, and it turns 30 degrees, uh, and then it kind of creates this tunnel, which is created in the uh, repeater function. So. If I hit UU, you can see all of my masks and all of my keyframes. Here's my, my keyframe for it to uh, start the stroke. And then I keyframed uh, the scale for it to actually transform uh, or go up almost twice in scale, so to 192%. Uh, I did a Y rotation. It looks like it's about 30 from, let's see here. So it's a 106 degree uh, Y rotation. And then what gives it that kind of cool tunnel you see right here is I did the repeater, but then I keyframed the factor. So the factor is what's going to, let me bump this factor up. So you can see how that, that works, right? Well, I pretty much keyframed it from a large factor to a smaller factor. So it looks like the shield started from this really kind of large abstract shape and then slammed down into a concrete uh, concrete image, which was kind of what I was going for. Um, with that being said, uh, I'll talk a little bit about the sword. The sword was created in much the same way. I just created a mask for it. And then... Uh, after I'd created the mask, I pretty much just duplicated it, flipped it over on the other side, uh, enabled the um, uh, the taper feature, and then one of the things that I did on this one, instead of doing a, uh, a Y rotation keyframe, I did an X rotation keyframe, and I'll show you the difference in the actual composition. So you can see that the sword starts up here as it starts to draw on and then it rotates up with the axis being the x-axis and uh, like I was saying in the uh, the part one of this tutorial there's about 64 different preset shapes that uh, uh, 3D stroke comes with and this gear was um, was one of them so I pretty much took the gear added the, added the repeater bumped up the factor and added a rotation to it and it kind of I know the gear and the bull, kind of like mechanical bull. I don't know. I I thought it kind of worked out well. So with that being said, um, there's only one other thing I really wanted to talk about, and that was the uh, the hooves. So as the the bull comes in, he's spraying his nose. I pretty much took um, two lines. Ooh, excuse me. Let me bring that up. two basic lines that I had just drawn with the pen tool and then I created a repeater on it using the stroke and then I did a Y and Z rotation to give it a little bit of depth as uh, as it kind of comes in and then I keyframe the opacity so it kind of looks like dust kind of coming in and coming out as it you know he slams his hoof into the ground and blows all the, the steam out but you know th this is just kind of th you know three or four different examples of using uh, trap code 3d stroke from different uh, from different areas to get different effects um, using the Y rotation the Z rotation um, you know using opacity uh, just a, a, a wide range of um, 
uh, of effects that you can use with this. And so pretty much the purpose of this tutorial was to kind of give you the foundation uh, of how this how this plugin works, uh, kind of show you a little bit of what I've done with it, uh, so then you can kind of go and play it around and uh, create some new stuff yourself, which is what it's all about. So I hope you found this informative. Uh, my next tutorial is going to be on trap code form, and we're going to be talking about the audio react feature. I made this little motion graphic this morning, kind of to show you guys before. So I hope you like this. It's a kind of goes to the music. It was uh, inspired by uh, Muse. So pretty much we're going to do uh, a tutorial on auto react, and then we're going to be doing audio react with form using obj models from cinema 4d in the next one so check it out hope you like it please comment rate subscribe thank you for watching